Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. Uh, this video is a comic book review. Uh, we'll be reviewing Bunny Mask number one. Uh, this is published by Aftershock Comics, uh, written by Paul Tobin, artist, uh, art and colors by Andrea Muti, and letters by Taylor Spacito, with a cover by Andrea Muti. Um, so I, as you guys may know or have heard from, you know, the lives and everything, all the videos we do, I like to pick up number ones that I really know nothing about. Um, so I kind of went a little bit blind into this one. I saw, I, I, I like Aftershock. I like a lot of stuff that they publish. Um, so I figured I'd give this a shot. Uh, I, I don't know much about the, the creative team other than like, the cover looks pretty rad and you know i i'm a sucker for covers so i'll grab a cool looking cover uh, which this issue this uh comic actually had a lot of different pretty cool covers uh i did go pick up my comics this week uh, normally i would have a the comic sitting right here unfortunately this was i mean unfortunately for me great for the team the comic was sold out of my shop so this weekend i need to go um I need to go look around to find the comic. So instead, because I wanted to review this, I just bought it digitally in Comixology. Uh, you know, it's it's a it's a it's a nice alternative when you can't find the the comics at your local shop. Um, so this comic, it, I I don't even know how to explain the premise because, but it hits you like immediate, like like just a big punch of like discomfort and shock within the first few panels. I didn't pull those panels because I thought they might be a little bit too much uh, to show here. I also want to save that mystery for when you read the book. Um, but I did pull these. Uh, so the story begins in, in this town um, where th this pair this pair of individuals are they're checking up on a child in the home. Uh, we meet Leo Foster, who is kind of haunted and obsessed with this uh, snitch which is kind of like a voice in the back of his head um a lot of stuff kind of escalates he has a daughter she's part of the story that's who these people were kind of they were looking after um and things just really really like they escalate very very quickly um and and you can tell here like <laughs> as we go through this uh issue like the art is really really driving this story like the art and the colors, like the, the smaller panels, like multiple panels here. I love the lettering here by Esposito and the the sound effects. Like, I, I don't want to go too much into the story. I just want to let you know that the hook is great. The themes that it presents of, like, opening up this mystery, um, it's something that I went back and reread immediately, just now that I know kind of what's going on, uh, to get to figure out any things that I might have missed. Uh, but like, like you saw on the previous panel, they, the story escalates very quickly. Uh, then we have a very interesting time jump where, uh, I forget the name of the individual that was looking out for B who is the girl. Uh, but <laughs> several years later, he finds her at an art exhibit, uh, and her art reflects kind of the creature thing that they saw back in the day, uh, which you saw in the, in the previous panel. But there's a lot more to the story. Uh, I just want to take a moment to kind of really, really look at the art. Uh, because the way the way that the way um, the way horror comics work for me, um, these are very non-realistic, somber tones, like a lot of shadows everywhere. Um, you know, we have uh, unnatural colors here. Like this doesn't it looks realistic. But it doesn't look like it looks. It's look like it like it's put through this this horror filter. Like movies use it a lot, and horror comics use it a lot. Uh, this is definitely something really interesting. I really like this book, um, and I'm gonna keep reading it. I I'm glad that Aftershock is doing things that are so different, uh, and you know the creative team here with uh, Paul Tobin and Joy Muti. Like they have made something that it has a great hook because there's a really, really cool 
payoff slash setup slash cliffhanger towards the end of the book. And that's when the, the, the light bulb goes off like, oh, shit, we're in for a ride. Um, this is definitely a more mature book. I don't I don't know, know what the rating was exactly, but uh, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I think you guys should go pick it up. I would give this probably a five out of five just on the on the on the great punch. Like it's a great start. It's a great start to a story. Um, so, yeah, let me know if you guys pick this up. Let me know if you picked up anything else from Aftershock. And remember to share, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs>